Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. We certainly do praise the Lord uh, and thank the Lord for his grace and his mercy and his love that he has shown toward us. Uh, as the scripture says, it's, it had not been for the Lord on our side, mm -hmm. there's no telling where we would be. <laughs> and uh, the more, the older I get, the more I realize that. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. So found somewhere in the cuckoo factory. <laughs> but we thank God for how he woke us up this morning Amen. and he started us on our way. Yes. And uh, as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, I uh, remember First Lady, she had a procedure done on today. Um, she had home under that anesthesia. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, pray that the Lord will touch her body and, and then she'll uh, recuperate, recover. So let us pray also, too, for our Bible study on today. Uh, men and women and children everywhere, that the Lord will save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. Uh, and also pray uh, for this uh, country and countries everywhere, that uh, the will of the Lord will be done. Mm -hmm. That's the primary thing. We want God's will to be done in our lives. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are there any other particular prayer requests? Mm -hmm. uh, Remember, Sister Priscilla. Remember Sister Priscilla in a special way. Amen. Uh, yeah, and I was, um, um, I think it was, I don't know what day it was, but I was laying in the bed um, uh, thinking about uh, the saints of God from here that uh, we don't see on a regular basis. So yes, let's pray for them and, and, and their family members and, and all situations. You know, people go through stuff. You know, uh, best way to go through stuff is in the household of faith. Amen. You know, I'm glad that they put that in me early. Um, like if you, it don't matter if you're going through, go through in the house of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> that's where you go. That's where you go get your help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially, you know, some some could be said and done. Help snap you back to your right mind. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I'm not saying that everybody's out. Uh, people out for various reasons, but I'm just saying. That uh, it's better uh, to go through in the house. And we're going to ask every heart to pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly come before you, Lord, just to say thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you for your power. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every soul that is here on today. Send forth your greatness, send forth your strength, Lord. Help us, Lord, to cleave unto you with a purpose and heart. Bless each and every request that's been made known. Touch our bodies, touch our hearts and our minds in the name of Jesus. Touch each and every soul that is here on today. Lord, you know what we need, know what we desire. Bless our children, remember the saints, remember each and every prayer request. Father, we thank you and praise you. Bless our Bible study on tonight. We acknowledge you in all of our ways that you might direct our path. Yes, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Uh, let us uh, go back over to the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5. And we're almost through this book. Thank you, Jesus. And truly, uh, this particular study has uh, been a blessing to me. Mm -hmm. It's been a blessing to me. Um, it helps me, uh, I've seen some things in here um, that I really um, never saw before. And um, the importance of, of walking with God and uh, what he has literally done for us to make it possible for us to walk with him. And um, the Lord has done some great and mighty things for us uh, through Christ Jesus. He was made manifested uh, for us so that we could attain unto the plan of God. Yeah. And uh, I was thinking early on, on today uh, even about uh, Abraham's wife, Sarah, and how God had a plan for Sarah uh, that she would bring forth Isaac. And you know the story that, that she was barren. She uh, uh, didn't have uh, initially 
what she needed, if you allow me to say it, uh, to bring forth a son. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, she uh, tried to come up with her own plan, and they got uh, Hagar, the, the, the handmaiden, and, and Abraham, y'all know the story, went into her and, and had uh, Ishmael. Mm -hmm. But it was still God's plan that she would bring forth a son. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And eventually, in God's own timing, it became her turn mm -hmm. to bring forth that son. Right. And, and, and that was the will of God. Mm -hmm. And when it became the time for her to do it, God touched her body. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the, the deadness of her womb came alive. Right. And she was able to conceive and bring forth. Mm -hmm. And I think about it that God has a plan for us. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it may look like the odds are against us. But when it becomes our turn, if God be for us, who then can be against us? God will bring it to pass Amen. because it's all in his plan. It's all in his timing. Amen. And that's how we have to see ourselves in this walk with God. It's all God's plan. It's all God's timing. God has a plan. And if we walk in obedience to God, uh, he'll fulfill his plan in his due, in due season. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. So we don't have to worry. We don't have to uh, come up with our own concoctions <laughs> like Sarah did. They don't have to come up because, because you know, when she came out, now I don't want to make this the Bible study, but, but when she came up with her own conclusion, uh, it cost them something. Yeah. You know, didn't it? Huh? Huh? It, it involved Hagar and Ishmael, and, and, and it cost something. Huh? Abraham had to put uh, uh, the boy and the mother out. Uh, and then God had to intervene, step on in and bless him. But uh, that's what I'm saying. That, that Let us just stick with God's plan. Right. Let us walk in the ways of the Lord and wait on the Lord. Yeah. Amen. And be of good courage. Right. Uh, and he will strengthen our heart. He that shall come, he will come, yeah. and he will not tarry. Amen. 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 We are not forgotten. When it's our turn, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. When it's our turn, uh, the, the grace of God will move. Yeah. Hallelujah. And we'll bring forth. Amen. So, as we are looking in uh, Ephesians chapter number five, and um, uh, uh, Pastor Duck, will you be our reader? All right. Be ye therefore followers of God uh -huh. as dear children. Yes. And walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us, mm -hmm. and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling Savior. All right. Um, Paul is, uh, as you know in our study, is making mention of these things uh, based on what God has done for us. Uh, he's made us holy. We were not a people, but now are we the people of God. And God has an expectation for us based on what he has done for us. Mm -hmm. And so uh, here, here again, Paul is revisiting that expectation. He says, be therefore followers of God. And that word followers right there, it translates into imitators. Amen. It translates in that followers translate into imitators. Mm -hmm. So in other words, uh, Paul is saying, imitate God, be like God, be like God, imitate God. And he's saying, uh, be therefore imitators of God, how? As dear children, meaning that uh, be obedient, be loving, be caring, be considerate, amen? As dear children, humbling yourself. Be like God in your, in your ways and in your actions and in your thoughts and in your deeds. Uh, you know how I like that one saying, they don't say it much now. Uh, they say, what would Jesus do? WWJD. What would Jesus do? Literally, that's how God wants you to think. That's how God wants you to act. Christ himself was given to us as a pattern Amen. He was given to us as a pattern on how to act and, and what to do. In all situations, 
we ought to think like God. That's the reason why when we get into Christ, we receive a new nature. Uh, that's why he says you are a new creature. All old things, that old way of thinking, that old way of acting uh, has passed away. He said, behold, all things have become what? Yeah. New. And he literally means that. Newness. Uh, newness. And uh, when I first got into the church, um, I was in a Bible class. I'll never forget it. I was in a Bible class, and the pastor, uh, the bishop, was teaching on marriage. And, um, and he was telling, uh, it was quoting the scriptures about the, the wives submitting yourselves to your own husbands, and, 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 and uh, the husband is the head of the wife, and, and, and things such as that. And I was sitting there because I'm fresh out the world. <laughs> fresh out. I wasn't around no sanctified women, you know. So I was there waiting for somebody to cuss him out. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to go off. Right? And, and when that didn't happen, I sit there, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Nobody said nothing. I hear a lot of amens. And I'm like, whoa, what am I into here? <laughs> I didn't found it. <laughs> but 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 see, I, my mind had not been transformed. Right. I had not known the way of Christ. Right. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to know the way of Christ. Right. And the only way to know the way of Christ, you have to be taught him. Yeah. Uh, to receive him. Mm -hmm. You have to be taught him. Taught his ways. Mm -hmm. Taught his doctrine. Amen. And then, not only do you have to be taught it, but you've got to receive it. Amen. Amen. You've got to receive it. Thank you, Lord. In order to imitate God. And, 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 and imitating God is, is, is a tall order, but that's why he also gives you the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Spirit in you empowers you. It, 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 it gives you the fruit of the Spirit as well, so that you can have God's divine nature. God, you can't act like God without his nature. Huh? God has given us of his divine nature. That comes through the Holy Ghost. God gives us the mind of Christ. Huh? He gives us the spirit of Christ. When the Bible talks about the spirit of Christ, he's talking about his attitude. Huh? His attitude. Attitude is everything with God. Amen. And attitude is everything. It determines your level of altitude with God. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says with Christ, he humbled himself, uh, became obedient unto death. That's what that childlike mind is. Yeah. Become obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God has what? Highly exalted him. He's just not exalted. Uh, he's highly exalted. Uh, when, uh, the greatest thing that you can do is connect with Christ because you also too are with him highly exalted. That's why God expects more out of us than he does the world. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We highly exalted him. And then he gave him a name above every name. And you have that name too if you've been baptized in the name of Jesus. You carry that name. There's power in that name. There's deliverance in that name. Don't discount that name. Use that name. <laughs> Hallelujah. And notice, he said, he said that, that, that he's given us a name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. That's the kind of mind we have to have, that mind of Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that spirit of Christ, that attitude, uh, and that which, that there transforms us so that we can imitate God, Amen. be like him. Amen. 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 God says this. He said, while you're trying, while you're growing in me to imitate me, reckon yourself dead unto sin. Right. Amen. Uh, so you may not have the total victory in everything, but reckon it. Uh, uh, reckon yourself. Practice it. Uh, thank you, Lord. Practice it. Walk in it uh, until it's manifested. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Live it. Uh, my God. God wants you to live this thing. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Now that's what he said. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. And verse number two, what does it say, Pastor? And walk in love. Uh, now notice, walk in love. This is the key. Why? Because God is love. If you're going to imitate God, you've got to uh, walk in love. Live in an atmosphere of love. Let everything you do be controlled by love. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everything. I, I literally mean that. Everything. If you go walk with God, then everything you do has to be controlled by love. Your, your, uh, people say uh, uh, when you're starting a business, uh, you got to have a vision and a mission statement. And then every policy you make comes from that vision and mission statement. Amen. Every, every decision God makes comes from his theory and his doctrine of love. Everything. Amen. Because love bears all things. It hopeth all things. It endureth all things. And when I was studying this on today, the Lord dropped in my mind. That's why Paul wrote, uh, now abided faith, hope, and charity. But he says the greatest of these three is charity, which is love. Amen. If you do things motivated by love, it, you will never fail. Amen. Amen. You will never fall short. Amen. You've got to, uh, your motive has to be out of love. Amen. Now, I've never seen that before like I've seen it today. Thank you, Lord, that everything you do, if it's motivated by love, it's, it's you're imitating God because God is love. Amen. So Paul said, Walk in love. He talks about that word walk a lot in, in, his, in his scriptures. Uh, and, and that word walk deals with your behavior. Amen. Your surroundings. Your environment. Amen. Notice what he says. Walk in love. Live in, in love. Let everything you do be motivated by love. And notice, as Christ also has what? Loved us. Now, now, what he means by that is, is that when we think about how Jesus manifested his love toward us, he, he, the, the scripture talks about him, uh, he, was, he was in heaven and he, and, he, and, he, and he stripped himself of glory and honor, came here to this earth, took on sinful flesh, took on sin uh, for us, was crucified on that cross for us, and, 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 and he gave himself, yeah. amen, the ultimate sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And what was that motivated by? Love. We always quote that scripture, God so loved the world that he did what? He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Be, that word perish means eternally separated from God. We can't handle it being eternally separated from God. Hallelujah. And he said, he said, you shall not perish, but have what? Everlasting, Everlasting life. And Jesus, he was that prime example of God's love toward us. Everything Jesus did was motivated by love. Everything. This, and, and that's what held him to that cross. That love. Amen. For you and I. Uh, it, it caused him to, to humble himself and to submit himself so that he could, he could help us. So what Paul is saying is when you deal with your brothers and your sisters, humble yourself huh, so that you can be able to deal with them, suffer with them, go through whatever need be going through so that you can help them. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Y'all hear me on today. Thank you, Lord. Uh, 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 if we're going to imitate God because God is a giving God. Love, love ain't fully expressed until it's given away. Uh, you can't say that you love God until you, until you give your love away. Amen. Until you make it a sacrifice. That <laughs> kind of Hallelujah. Until you sacrifice for somebody. Until uh, you, you love them that much that you're willing to sacrifice. Uh, thank you, Lord. And God didn't just love them that loved him. Uh, he loved everybody. You just can't love people that love you. You got to love everybody. 
uh, and sacrifice for them. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God. Uh, just as Christ sacrificed for us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He was despised and rejected of men. Mm -hmm. He was a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. Yeah. Huh? And you showing your love to others, you're going to be despised. Yeah. You're going to be rejected. Huh? Hallelujah. And acquainted with grief. Amen. Hallelujah. But you got to imitate God. Amen. Hallelujah. And, 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 and God says he maketh not his son to rise on the just and the, uh, and, but he also makes it to rise on the unjust. Amen. He not only causes rain to come to the just, but he also causes rain to come to the unjust. Amen. 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 And notice the scripture. Do unto others as you would have them what? Do it, and the only way you can do that is you operating by love. Yeah. Amen. You can't operate on, on, on your will and on your desires. No. Uh, because your, if they get you the right way, you don't want to hurt them. <laughs> but if you operating out and trying to imitate God, uh, you do nothing but help them. Amen. Uh, you look beyond all of their faults uh, and you'll see their need. Just like what Christ did for us. Uh, what if Christ would have turned his back on us? Where would we be? Uh, I'm glad he sacrificed. Uh, and though people may, may, may not understand you when you show them that kind of love, they're going to be glad you sacrificed uh, for them. Thank you, Lord, to help. Amen? So notice what he said. He said, walk in love as Christ also hath loved us. Walk in love as Christ has also loved us. And when you think about how Christ showed his love for us, that's how you ought to show your love for others. Amen? That's imperative that we walk this way. Amen? Hallelujah. And God has empowered us to walk this way. Y'all with me? Hallelujah. Or, uh, 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 notice what he said. Uh, as Christ has also loved us, read Ephesians chapter number 5, verse number 2. As Christ also has loved us, and notice, and have given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice. Christ gave himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice for, uh, uh, to God for a sweet-smelling Savior. There, in the scriptures in the Old Testament, they outline five types of sacrifices. And the first three sacrifices were a sacrifices of a free will offering, if you will. The God, God mandated that these offerings be uh, given to him. The one was a peace. The first three were a peace offering, uh, a burnt offering, and a, a meal or grain offering. And those offerings were given, those first three offerings were given as, as, as an offering, if you have you will, of thanksgiving to God. Uh, offerings as appreciation to God. Because God had provided for them. Amen? The, the other two offerings, a sin offering uh, and a transgression offering, God accepted those offerings, but y'all know, let me say it this way. Uh, if, if, if somebody offering a sin offering, that means they've done something wrong. You follow me? And, they, and, they, and they're trying to get it right. Though God accepted those offerings, but it didn't make them as happy as those offerings that they were giving out of pure love for God. Out of pure, just saying, Lord, I thank you. Have you, have you, have God ever been so good to you? You just said, Lord, I thank you. Uh, Lord, I praise your name. That, that you just, you just so overwhelmed with the love of God that you offer up the fruit of your lips and you just say, thank you. Uh, you ain't sinned, huh? You ain't thought about sinning, but you've been walking with God and God is blessing you. So you offer him a, a offering of thanksgiving. Offering him an offering of praise. Yeah. That's what kind of offering he's talking about here yeah. that was a sweet smell or had a sweet aroma unto God. Mm -hmm. Amen. God loves it. Hallelujah. When we just when we just live our life as a sacrifice to him, wherein he can say to us, Well done. Not that, not that we died, 
but well done, thy good and faithful servant. Huh? That those are kind of offerings that God wants. Yeah. Amen. Those y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Those are kind of offerings that God wants. He, 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 he. You know, when you sin and 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 fall short of the glory, and you got to get the blood of Jesus on you. You know, God wants that too. But but when we talk about a sweet smell, a sweet aroma. It's when, when, when you are doing good uh, and when you are walking with God and you're offering up a sacrifice of praise. Amen? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, when, when, what he's talking about here is, is, is when you are, are, are trying to imitate God and you are in situations and conditions wherein sin is trying to take you down, but you choose God, you choose the Lord, you choose the highway, you choose the right way, uh, and, and, and without reservation, uh, those are the kind of offerings that God appreciates. Those are the kind of offerings that God loves. God don't want to beat you into submission. Hallelujah. God wants you to offer him a free willing sacrifice. Hey, God wants shot. Hallelujah. God wants you to give it to him freely. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Y'all with me? Yeah. Thank you, though. Now, well, I can say, I can say to y'all, well, uh, we 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 don't have a building um, uh, uh, drive, and I want everybody to 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 give a hundred dollars, and you know. Um, some people may murmur and complain and get that hundred dollars. Some people will say, Pastor, I'm gonna give not only one hundred, but I'm gonna give two hundred. Which 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 one you think gonna make me happy? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, and you're giving it freely. Uh, that one who have the two give that one hundred, but they're giving it uh, kind of grumpy and angrily. In my mind, I'm saying, Well, come on, give it, but you can keep it. <laughs> uh, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a difference. Yeah. Uh, it's a difference. And when you offer to God and you're giving it to God freely, uh, why? Because you know that all, all that you have belongs to Him. Uh, you know that without God, you're nothing. Uh, that you know without God, you couldn't even do, wake up, you couldn't even tie your shoe. <laughs> you know, if, if God wouldn't on your side, you would have been dead a long time ago. Uh, so you offer the fruit of your lips. Uh, you go beyond and give God uh, not, not only what you believe he deserves, but you give him more. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's the kind of offerings that God, Christ, yeah. amen, has given unto us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Y'all with me? Yeah. All right. All right. Read the next verse, uh, Pastor. Verse 3. Uh -huh. Of fornication uh -huh. and all uncleanness yes. or covetousness. Yes. Let it not be once named among you. Now notice what he said. Yes. Now notice what he said. But fornication, that's illicit sexual acts. Uh, without being married, you got to have a license to have sexual relations. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, notice, he says uncleanliness. That's having an unclean spirit. Covetousness, that's jealousy and greed, greediness and witchcraft, all tied into one. Mm -hmm. Having a Jezebel spirit. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, he said, let it not once be named what? Among, Among us. us as becometh what? Saints. Saints. Now notice how he phrased that. The, the saints, the household of faith, shouldn't be doing these things. Yeah. Amen. Uh, it shouldn't be named among us. When, 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 when we come before God, these things should not be named among us. What Paul is saying here is, is that as you are imitating the Lord, the, the unfruitful works of darkness are going to try to overtake you. Uh, sin is going to try to, to bring you down. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So, so uh, uh, as imitators of God, there's certain behaviors, there's certain activities we have to abstain from. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Now, you would never see God committing fornication. No. Uh, never see God being covetous. No. Amen? Yeah. Never seeing God, what else does it say? Being unclean. Huh? Never. You would never see Jesus doing that. Mm -hmm. Amen? So that's what Paul is saying. Since you 
uh, 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 when see them doing that, we shouldn't do see you doing that. Amen? And if I'm an imitator of God, I have to be it 100%. Uh, 99 and a half, what? Won't do. <laughs> uh, Got to get that done. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So, Paul, read. What does it say? The fornication. Uh-huh. And all uncleanness. Yes. Or covetousness. Yes. Let it not be once named among us. Don't let it once be named among us. As become saints. Uh -huh. as, as, as sanctified. Saints. Separated. Uh, that's another uh, blessing that Christ does for us. He sanctifies us. He separates us uh, from sin. Amen? Yes. Uh, so that we can... Walk in this newness of life. Mm -hmm. uh, don't, don't, the greatest honor that you can have as a child of God is being like God. Mm -hmm. Notice what he says, be ye holy. Mm -hmm. For what? I am holy. Yeah. Uh, we were in the beginning, very beginning, created in his image mm -hmm. and in his likeness. Mm -hmm. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And that's why, once again, I say I can't emphasize it enough. He gives us the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is multi-purposed. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And it, and it brings upon us uh, uh, the fruit of the Spirit, the very nature of God, yeah. which is gentleness, meekness, long-suffering, patience, joy. We need some joy, don't we? Yeah. Uh, our, our joy uh, don't come from around us. Our joy comes from within. Amen. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. That comes from within. Because my circumstances around me, it may not be joyous, uh -huh. uh, but but I got joy bells ringing in my soul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah! And and to stir that up, all I got to do is think of the goodness of Jesus Amen. Uh, and all that He has done for us. Yes. Uh, my God! Now notice. All right, read, Pastor. Four. Uh huh. Neither filthiness. Don't be filthy. No foolish talking. Now don't don't be talking foolish. Nor jesting. Now jesting, that's now, that that don't mean you can't tell jokes, but it's talking about don't tell crude jokes. Yeah. Huh? Don't be vulgar. Right. Huh? You step wrong with having a sense of humor. Right. God gave you a sense of humor. Right. But don't be dirty. That's right. <laughs> don't be filthy. That's right. Don't be nasty. Mm -hmm. yeah, you follow me? Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. Really? Which are not convenient. This is not convenient. But rather giving of thanks. Now notice, he says, rather. Uh, instead of doing these things, uh, because you're imitating God, give thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, give thanks unto the Lord. Yes. For why? He is good yes. and his mercy endured forever. Right. Now, I found that this is also a weapon of warfare. When the Bible tells you to put on the whole armor of God, mm -hmm. and we could name those, those pieces of that armor, but, but also, uh, that's not uh, an all-exclusive list of armor. Mm -hmm. uh, you giving thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, while you going through yes. is a weapon of warfare. Yes. Uh, because as you give thanks, and it don't feel good, it don't look good, but you say, Lord, I thank you, something will happen in the atmosphere. Yeah. Amen. Uh, God will start manifesting something yeah. uh, by you giving thanks. Yeah. Uh, by you singing songs and, yeah. and hymns. Yeah. Amen. As you keep your mind stayed on him, you'll have a certain peace yeah. uh, that'll come that passes all understanding. Yeah. And that and that could be all it takes so you to get to the next level. I'm yeah. uh, just giving God thanks. Yeah. Thank the Lord. Thank you. Amen. For your circumstance and your situation. Yeah. Thank the Lord because yeah. you may not have food in your cupboard, but Lord, I thank you. Yeah. Uh, Lord, I thank you. Yeah. And as you give God thanks, that moves God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. You want God to be moved. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Yeah. Because God will put us in a, a thankless situation yeah. to see what we're going to do. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we can be a witness yeah. that if we give thanks, he'll move on our behalf. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't count God out. No. <laughs> hallelujah. Though, though it may not look good, don't count God out. Amen. Amen. Uh, because like I said earlier, you got to wait your turn. <laughs> you got to wait your season. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, God, and God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. And when it's your time, if God be for you, who then can be against you? Amen. Amen. Uh, it's your time. Yeah. Yeah, hallelujah. It's your season. Amen. So give thanks. Amen. Uh, God won't always try. Uh, and, and, and while you giving thanks, say, this too shall pass. Yeah. So now I feel like preaching now. Yeah. <laughs> you you got to realize that. Yeah. Amen. God, if you were to search the Psalms, you'll find out how many times it 
says, Lord, I thank you. Yeah. Amen. How, how many times it praises God yeah. in the circumstance and situation. Mm -hmm. And that's what God wants you to do. Amen. Uh, he wants you to thank him. Yeah. Amen. 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 And instead of, and notice, notice, Paul lists those uh, uh, sinful characteristics there. And, and he's saying this, is that uh, while you may be getting tempted, give thanks. Yeah. Amen. Don't give in to the temptation. Mm -hmm. Give thanks. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Imitating God. Give thanks. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. All right. Read. What's it say? Five. Notice this. Read. For this you know. Now notice. He said, you know this. That no whoremonger. No whoremonger. Nor unclean person. No unclean person. No covetous man. Who is an idolater? Uh huh. Have any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God? Now, don't allow these sinful behaviors to take away your inheritance. We got something in God. We have an inheritance in Him. Yeah. I was asked a question. It was at a Bible study. Uh, one time I was I was I was at uh, Albion Prison doing a Bible study, and um, the individual rose, raised his hand. He said, "Pastor, I got a question." I said, "Okay, go ahead." And uh, uh, he said, "If you if you're saved, and uh, well, let me see how he said it. Lord, help me, in Holy Ghost. God, I don't want to be lying, thank you, or or embellishing." Uh, he said, he said, he said, basically what he was saying was, is that you can commit sin, fornication, and adultery, and still be saved. That's a part of salvation. No. Uh, that's what he was saying. He's saying that if you do those things, uh, you that won't uh, boot you out of heaven, and you you still. A child of God. Not so. And <laughs> I almost had a Holy Ghost fit. I said, I said what Pastor does. I said, not so. And I said, you brethren, y'all don't believe that? That's damnable doctrine. Damnable doctrine. And this here scripture right here, it proves it. Huh? It proves it. Shall we continue in sin? God forbid that grace may abound. Amen. God forbid. Amen. 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 God knows that we're going to struggle with sin. Amen. He knows that. Yeah. Amen. But until we grow up, yeah. when you grow up and start to mature, you put away childish things. Amen. Right. Amen. When you grow up and mature and realize that what you're doing is counterproductive, mm -hmm. amen, you put away childish stuff. Amen. And God, God, God gives us grace. Mm -hmm. Amen. To allow us to grow up. <laughs> we got to give each other grace. Amen. Not to allow us to grow up. Right. <laughs> hey. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, be like God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. People uh, just coming in uh, off the street, they, they tried to learn God. So don't hold them to uh, your standard right. uh, that you've been walking with God for five years, ten years. You've been in the Bible study, and they just coming in. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. They they gonna walk like you. No. Uh, I hope they don't walk like you. <laughs> hey, uh, and I mean that in a negative way. Uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I hope y'all ain't on the same level. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, so you've got to have uh, imitating God. You've got to have grace for them. That's right. Uh, that's why you got the Holy Ghost. That's why the Bible says, "Forbear one another." How? In love. Hallelujah. Amen. Love is the key. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I see that more now than anything else. Love is the key. Yeah. If you love, you can do everything. Yeah. Uh, you'll overcome everything. Yeah. You'll please God. Huh? He said, if you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. And my, if you love God, his commandments won't be grievous. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It means something. Right. Thank you, Lord. So, so Paul is saying, don't be deceived. 
Don't let people deceive you and tell you you can do any and everything and still inherit the kingdom of God. No. Huh? No, not so. Not so. It won't happen that way. They're all here in vain. They're all here in vain. Huh? I can go get me a Budweiser and a Michelob. I smoke in Newport. <laughs> Come on here. Huh? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. My God. My God. My God. Here in vain. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Now notice. All right, read, Pastor. Read that verse again. For this ye know, uh -huh. that no whoremonger, uh -huh. nor unclean person, yes. nor covetous man, yes. who is an idolater, uh -huh. have any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Now notice. They have no inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. We right now are in the kingdom of Christ. Amen? Amen. Uh, which is ruled by his father, God. Amen. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. So we're in this kingdom. Yes. Uh, we're in a holy kingdom. Amen. Uh, a righteous kingdom. Mm -hmm. So in order, to, order to, to stay in the kingdom, you've got to seek the kingdom. Amen. Uh, seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes. Yes. Be, have right behavior. Uh, right. Thank you, Lord. And, right. and, and in doing that, you've got to do things God's way. Right. Right. Uh, God's kingdom is within you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was manifested within you through the Holy Ghost. Yeah. When you received the Holy Ghost, uh, the kingdom of God started dwelling in you. Yeah. Yeah. And it started manifesting in you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Yeah. And the more you submit to it, the greater it will, it will reveal itself to you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. The more you walk with God, yes. the more you love, the greater you will love. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, and he'll give you a love that, that passes all understanding. Yes, he will. You should be increasing mm -hmm. uh, in all the attributes of God. Uh, uh, and, and what I'm saying right now is you should be increasing in the love of God. Amen. Amen? Mm -hmm. Increasing in it. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, I was, I'm, I was, uh, I was trying to do my little CPR test and things like that uh, on last week. It was last Wednesday, as a matter of fact. And um, it was dealing with children, dealing with babies. So I already took the adult one, so I'm taking the child one. And you know they have a scenario on the on the screen to 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 have had the had the had the teachers, they were in the classroom and the mother was swimming and and the baby stopped breathing, mm -hmm. right? And it was a and you could clearly see that it was a, a baby doll. You know, it wasn't no real baby. Right. You follow me? And you know, they pumping on the baby, trying to get the thing to breathe and trying to show you the procedures. Right. You know, and I'm sitting up there, I start crying. I'm like, what you doing, man? <laughs> it's a baby. Uh, it's, it's a scenario. This thing ain't real. Yeah. Uh, and the Lord, the Lord let me know. He said, that's the love of God that's in you. Right. Uh, uh, you don't want to see nobody die. No. You don't want to see nobody hurt. Right. You follow me? That, that love thing yeah. is real. Yeah. Uh, I, I, and, and a couple years ago, I had just been chewing my gum. You know, not really thinking about it. So, okay, okay, this is what you're supposed to do. This way. But, but something happened in my mind that I don't want to see nobody suffer. Right. Uh, I don't want to see nobody go down. Huh? You follow what I mean? That's love. Oh, man. Uh, and that's an increase of love. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you follow me? Yeah. You should be increasing in love. You should have compassion on, on people that you never had compassion on before. Uh, people that you never thought about. You should uh, increase in your compassion and your love for them. Uh, because the love of God is increasing in you. Uh, hallelujah. Y'all with me? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. My God. My God. All right, where we at, Pastor? Six. All right, read what's set. Let no man deceive you. Now notice, he's saying, don't let nobody deceive you. Read. With vain words. Huh? That, that with vain words, empty words. Yeah. Words that have no effect. Mm -hmm. 
Be careful to who you lend your ear to. Be careful who you keep company with. Huh? You follow me? Thank you, Lord. Be careful. Huh? And and because because people can throw you out some vain words, and if 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 the blind lead the blind, what's gonna happen? They all fall in the ditch. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. So you don't want to be around false doctrine, false people. Amen? Uh, and giving them your ear. Amen. Turning you away from the love of God. Amen? Amen? Amen. Try the Spirit by what? By, by the Spirit. Uh, if something, if the Holy Ghost is telling you to get away, you better get away. Uh, don't stand there and say, I'm strong. <laughs> uh, uh, you be strong all you want. Uh, but, but, but sooner or later, you're going to be weak. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Why? You're going to be weak because the Holy Ghost, if you're not listening to it, it's going to withdraw itself. Yeah. Uh, it'll speak loud to you. I want y'all to hear me here. Yeah. It'll tell you, don't do it. Don't do it. And then you still do it. They'll say, don't do it. Don't do it. You still do it. They'll say, don't do it. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. They won't say nothing at all. But you have it. Mm -hmm. Follow me? Yeah. You got you to take heed to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Take heed to the Holy Ghost. That's why it's given unto you. Right. Let the Holy Ghost teach you. Amen. 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 It's the spirit of truth. Amen. 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 You need the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. Amen. We need the Holy Ghost. We need to listen to the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 We need to yield to the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right, read that again, Pastor. Let no man deceive you with don't, vain words. Now, don't let people deceive you with vain. That word vain there means empty. Words that have no value. I was reading in the book of Proverbs uh, uh, yesterday morning. And it was, uh, I had to laugh. Sometimes this stuff is funny. It, it said, it said that uh, uh, if a person, I'll paraphrase it. If a person is talking a lot, there's not a want of lies in their conversation. In other words, if they're talking a lot, they're lying. Somewhere, <laughs> that's what made me laugh. Uh, you know, folks that just talk. Uh, just talk, 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 talk. Say they can do this, say they can do that, say they can do this, say we'll help you with that, blah, 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 da, 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 da. They lying. Yeah. Don't believe folk just because their mouth is running. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. <laughs> I had to learn that the hard way. Sometimes you're talking so much you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Sis. Slow to speak. Yes, swift to hear. Yes, that's it. That's it. Well, but they got to be lying because they ain't even the cause of detecting. Take the faith. Some people just just rabble. Rabble on. You sit there and you know you can't be telling the whole truth. No. But you ain't even taking time to stop and think. Right. Watch out for folk like that. If the Bible warned you of people like that, you, you need to take heed. Uh, watch out for folk like that. Just, just rattling it off. Uh, talk, 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 talk. Uh, and you sound good, but it ain't all good. They lying somewhere. The Bible say that. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So be a person of few words. <laughs> Let your yea be yea, and your nay be nay. Uh, anything else cometh of what? Evil. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> study to be quiet. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And that study to be quiet means study how to close your lips. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? It don't cost you nothing to mind your own business. Nothing. Nothing. That's necessary, ain't it? Uh, and, and, and we, like, my God, the whole Bible class tonight is about imitating God. Mm -hmm. God, God, you don't hear God talking all the time. <laughs> and when God show up, he ain't just having a normal conversation. 
Uh, he ain't gonna say duck hollow weather. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? He may say, he may say, duck, look around. And, and that's for a reason. Uh, look around. So because I'm about to teach you something. I'm about to show you something. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's why we need to pay attention. Tell your neighbor, pay attention. Yeah, pay attention. Uh, a lot of things we can avoid if we pay attention. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. A lot of things we can avoid if we pay attention. Amen. 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 The Holy Ghost warns us, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Uh, if we take heed to the warning, we can avoid a whole lot of heartache and pain. Mm -hmm. All right? And I'm a witness. When I made that comment, I'm talking about Frank. <laughs> Amen. Because I'm thinking of a specific situation that happened in my life in my early years that 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 um, God said, don't put the coals over by this house. And I said, oh, I'd be all right. I put it by the house. Guess what? House burned down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and it took me some years. I had to pay the guy for his house. He had no insurance. I had to pay him some money for his house. Huh? Because hey, I felt bad. I was stupid. Huh? Y'all with me? Amen. But if I had just listened, yeah. wouldn't it happen? Yeah, we have an unction from the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. An unction, I like that. That's scripture. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We got an unction. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah for the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And I'm grabbing my belly. That's probably where it is. <laughs> All right, where we at, Pastor? Six. Six. All right, read. What's that? Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. All right. Now note, um, if we're not imitating God, the wrath of God will come upon us. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes upon uh, the children of who? Disobedience. Disobedience. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so you can literally take this two ways. Mm -hmm. When it says uh, the wrath of God comes upon the children of disobedience. The children of disobedience are those that are walking in darkness. Mm -hmm. Man, you got children that are walking in light. Those are your obedient children. Mm -hmm. right. But then you got children that are walking in darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, still submitted to the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Blinded. Y'all with me? And, and 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 they are still coming to the church, yeah. not deceiving the people, but deceiving their own selves. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Follow me. Hutai and Shaman. Yeah. 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 Uh, but ain't living nothing. Mm -hmm. Ungodly people. Yeah. Uh, children of darkness. The, now, it's foolish to spend your time coming to church, uh, a, a holy place, and not have a desire to, to at least want to live holy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Now, I ain't telling sinners to stay away because you need them. Yeah. But, but, but people that are serious with God, if you're coming, you might as well get serious with Him. Mm -hmm. Amen? Why, why beat against the air? Yeah. Why, why take up space? Waste time. Mm. Right. Amen? Yeah. Get what you can get yeah. from God. Yeah. Live this thing to the fullest. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right, now notice what he said. What he said? Seven. Uh-huh. Be ye not therefore partakers with them. Now, now notice. People that are, are, are foolish... And they're trying to tempt you with foolishness. Don't be a partaker with them. Amen. I tell you, um, we buddy buddy. I say, oh, don't take all that. Who, you know, I'm having a hard day. It's Bible study, but now nah, let's go to the dock and have some ice cream. I need you to come out there with me so uh, we can talk it out. Don't go. They're just trying to get you out of Bible study. Yeah. Tell them, well, wait till Bible study over. Pastor may say something to help you. Yeah. Right. Right. 
Somebody may say something to, to help you. You follow me? Don't be deceived. Amen? Don't let, don't let family members deceive you. Amen? Right at Bible study. Right when you get ready to leave. Yep. Right at your prayer time. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Right. Yeah. Watch. 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 Amen. Watch and what? Pray. 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 Least ye also enter into temptation. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was going to say, Pastor. Yes. We have to watch ourselves. Yes. You know, because we are our worst enemy. Yes. We can, we can go to work all day. Mm -hmm. you know, do whatever we want to do all day. All day. It's time to come to Bible class. We have an excuse. Right. You know, it's time to come to church as a prayer. We have an excuse. Yes. We have to watch ourselves too. Absolutely. You know, a lot of times we blame other people. Yes. It's you. You know what I'm standing saying? in the need. That you standing in the need. Yes. You're in need of help. And then you're denying it because you want to have an excuse. You want to make an excuse. Yeah. Absolutely. That's right. And, and uh, let me say it this way as well. That the enemy is doing his job mm -hmm. when he's trying to uh, put tiredness on you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, trying to get you to think, uh, uh, well, I'm too busy. I'm too tired. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, I don't think I don't think it's gonna be a good study tonight. <laughs> I ain't going. You know what I'm saying? That's the enemy. You gotta fight against that. Put tiredness on you. Huh? You gotta fight against that. That's what the scripture means by building yourself up. Uh, when you press your way, you're building yourself up. You ever lifted weights? You need you need some heaviness on there. So that you can lift it, and as you're lifting it, you're building your muscle strength. Right. So when those thoughts come to you, they come to everybody. Mm -hmm. huh? We're not alone. They come to everybody. Right. Huh? But when you press through it, that's how you build yourself up. Y'all yes. with me? Yeah. To where you, you, what you do becomes automatic. Amen? We have what's called muscle memory. That if we do a repetitive action so much, you can do it without thinking. Amen? If, if you press your way, come to Bible study so often, come to church, come to prayer, whatever you do for God so often, huh, it becomes a muscle memory. Huh? You'll do it without thinking. Amen? And then, then you'll come to a point where because you love God so much that you won't let nothing huh, separate you from the love of God huh, which is in Christ Jesus. Huh? Don't let nothing separate you from His love. Tribulation, persecution, famine, nakedness, or sword. Huh? Paul said, nay, in all these things huh, we are what? More than a uh, more than a conqueror. I'm not just a conqueror. You're just not a conqueror. You're more than that kind of shot. You gotta say I'm more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. 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 When they told Paul, they told Paul, hey, you the, it took a girdle and twisted it up. They said, the man that owns this girdle. That's going to happen to him if he go to Jerusalem. Yes, so they try to tell Paul, don't go to Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Paul said, why are you trying to make me weep and break my heart? Uh -huh. now, I'm not only willing to go bound to the Jerusalem, uh -huh. but I'm willing to die <laughs> for this thing. Yeah. Uh, that's the mindset you got to have. Yeah. Uh, I'm not only willing to, to go bound, huh? Huh? but I'm, I'm willing to die for it. Give my life for. Yeah. Give myself as a sacrifice. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That means something. Yeah. Hallelujah. It means something. Mm -hmm. Alright, what, what verse we in, Pastor? Eight. Uh-huh. For you were sometimes darkness. Now notice what he says. You were sometimes darkness. Now this is 
what you used to be. Remember? Uh, yes. The whole lesson tonight is about us imitating God. Amen? Amen. Amen. We were sometimes darkness. Yes. Amen? Amen? Remember that? Yeah. Remember when you were darkness? Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. You were sometimes darkness. Yes. And that, that sometimes darkness means that, that you were the child of the devil. Mm -hmm. The devil dwells in darkness. Yes, he huh? yeah. The devil had you captive at his own will. Yeah. Huh? But Jesus paid the price for you. Yeah. Didn't he? Uh, he, he did some great things for us, didn't he? Yeah. Now notice what he says. You were sometimes darkness. But now are you light in the Lord. Now, that also that word darkness means you were ignorant to the ways of God at one time. But when Jesus came into your life, he illuminated you. Huh? Opened up your mind. You follow me? Jesus, he taught us, didn't he? He said, ye are the light of the world. Nice. A city that is set on a hill that what? That's Can't be here. Mm -hmm. Huh? You are light. You're not darkness. Mm -hmm. Come out of darkness. Mm -hmm. Huh? And God shall give you what? Light. Enlightenment. You're not foolish anymore. No. Follow me? Mm -hmm. The Bible, Bible talk about uh, how the devil... Uh, will be captive silly women yeah. laden with sin. Yeah. Huh? You're not silly anymore. Yeah. Amen? Amen? You know that, that the wages of sin is what? Yeah. Death. But the gift of God is what? Eternal life. Mm -hmm. You know the way of righteousness. You know the way of holiness. Yeah. If you're going to imitate God, walk with God, Walk in that way. Amen. Don't be ignorant of Satan's devices. That's right. Amen. Huh? Don't be foolish. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Learn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't be simple-minded. Don't be a fool. Right. Am I right? Yeah. And don't allow yourself to be foolish. Right. Amen? Amen. You, you carry around a whole bunch of anger. And the Bible says anger lies in the bosom of the what? A fool. Amen. He said, be angry, but what? Sin, Sin not. Then he tells you to get rid of anger. Right. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. So, 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 so. Don't walk in darkness. You, you're not darkness anymore. You're children of light. God is light. And in him there's no what? You ought to be light. Amen. And in you there should be no Dark. darkness at all. Jesus said, if, if your eye be single, uh, great is the light that is in you. Meaning, he was saying this, that if your eye, the, the, and that eye is your mind, it be lined up with him, he said, you're, you're, the, there's going to be great light within you. But if your eye is not single, he said, how great is that darkness that is in you? You follow? Yeah. We were darkness, but now we're light. Yeah. We're children of light. Yeah. Turn all the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right, read. For you were sometimes darkness, but now are you light in the Lord. Uh -huh. Walk as children of light. Now notice, there, there's that word walk again. Mm -hmm. Live a lifestyle mm -hmm. as children of what? Light. The light. Be a child. Be humble. Be submissive. Be obedient. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. And that, and, and, and me being a child of God, I gotta move on, but me being a child of God, gives me great pleasure. Amen. Huh? Amen. Because I'm not a disobedient child. I'm not a bastard. Right. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Huh? Y'all with me? Yeah. God ain't always got a, got a, got a child on me. Right. Uh, God should not always have to child on you. Mm -hmm. Y'all know it yourself. You, 
uh, got children, you asking your children, your grandchildren, your, your adult, not even your adult children, your children growing up, you say, hey, clean up your room, you know, and you come home, room ain't cleaned up. Now, is that child an obedient child? No. And then now you got to argue and, and may have to get the whooping stick out, you know, huh? Thank you, Lord. We have to ground up. You have to take it through all bunch of changes, huh? Kind of correct it. You follow me? Yeah. But but those children that that that, that you say will clean the room, and they go ahead and clean the room. Obedient children. You just love them. Oh yes. You follow me? Yeah. Not that you make it any. Not that you don't love the disobedient ones, but the ones that do what you say. They special to you. Huh? You can work with them, they tender. Yeah. Huh? Great potential for them. And what is God's commandment? Well, uh, God said what? Bring them up in the way they ought to go. Be, bring them up in the way they ought to go so they won't what? Depart. Huh? Another one, he said, uh, honor your mother and your father. Yeah. Huh? Children, honor your mother and your father because if you do so, huh, you'll have a long life. Blessings will be upon you. Yeah. God, see, God rewards obedience. Yeah. Be a dear child. Right. Be obedient to God. Mm -hmm. Don't be stiff necked. Yeah. Don't be rebellious. Mm -hmm. You follow? Mm -hmm. People that are stiff necked and rebellious, they stunt their growth. Mm -hmm. you follow? Mm -hmm. My God. All right, let's move on. Where we at? Nine. Uh huh? For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Now notice, uh, uh, verse number 9, he said, uh, walk as children in light. He said, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all what? Goodness, goodness and what? Righteousness. And righteousness and what? Truth. Truth. Now, what he's saying there is, he's saying that because you are imitators of God and you have God's Spirit, all that you should produce is goodness mm -hmm. and righteousness and truth. Because mm -hmm. that's what's in you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And, and that, that fruit, it deals with what you're producing. Yep. What's coming out of your life. Amen. What's coming from the decisions that you're making. Right. Is what coming from your decisions that you're making goodness? Mm -hmm. Huh? Is what coming from your decision making righteousness? Right. And what's coming from your decision making are you dwelling in truth? Right. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we got to walk in love. Mm -hmm. What are you producing? Now, also you can take it this way. That if these ingredients ain't in what I'm trying to decide to do, I don't do it. If it's not going to produce righteousness, I'm not going to do it. If it's not going to produce goodness, I'm not going to do it. If it's not according to God's truth, I'm not going to do it. Because why? I'm a child of the light. Amen? And I got all quiet up in here. <laughs> uh, hallelujah. Okay, amen. Hallelujah. This, 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 this is a shaver. I know it is. It's cut, it's cut me too. <laughs> but this is God's expectation. Huh? And, and if we operate in love, we'll meet the expectation. Amen. If I want to be like God, I'll meet the expectation. I can't pick and choose of what attribute of God I want. And call myself godly. No. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all or nothing. Am I right? A kingdom divided, a house divided against itself, it can't stay. Amen? All right, read, Pastor. Verse 10. Uh huh. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Now, see there? Notice that verb there. Proving what's acceptable unto who? The Lord. Uh, unto Pastor Queen. Unto Pastor Doug. Uh, unto your children. Uh, the Lord. Amen? Unto the Lord. I gotta, I gotta, 
He holds the standard. I got to line up with God's standard. That's right. Amen. Not man's standard. That's right. huh? But God's standard. Amen. Right. Amen? Amen. So therefore I have to love him. Mm -hmm. huh? I got to love him. Yeah. Right. Huh? That I want to meet up with his standard. Right. Amen? There's another scripture uh, that I'm going to help some preachers up in here. And uh, where it says, study to show yourself approved unto who? God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, what? Rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen? Preachers ought not study for a message. Huh? Because he didn't tell you to study for a message. <laughs> He said, study uh, to show yourself approved unto me. Mm -hmm. right. huh? A workman. You, it's going to be work. Mm -hmm. huh? It's work getting into this word yes, and is. studying the word of God. Amen. Huh? Being able to uh, uh, dispense it to the people where they can grab it. Mm -hmm. huh? Letting God use you. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's work. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, so, so I can't study to impress the people. No. <laughs> I'll miss the boat. I only pick out the scriptures that, that'll make them move and shape. Yeah. Amen? Huh? Right. You follow me? Yeah. Huh? Nobody likes to be hated. No. Huh? No. Thank you, Lord. And and but but you gotta study to show yourself approved unto God. Mm -hmm. uh, because he's watching. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yeah. God is watching. Yeah. God is listening. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes. God is hearing. Yes. Amen. And and he holds accountable. Mm. He holds us accountable mm. for what we do, for what we say, for what we don't do, and for we, what we don't say. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Y'all with me? Yeah. Uh, let me. All right, where we at? I right, read. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Now notice, don't, don't commune. Don't imitate any fruit Fruit, unfruitful works of darkness. Don't imitate the devil. Don't be like the devil. Amen? Now you know when you're acting like the devil. I know when I'm acting like the devil. And I got to rebuke it. Sit Frank down, shut up. Get behind me, Satan. Have y'all said that today? Get behind me, Satan. Good. Thank you. Somebody did. Somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Because I don't want to be like the devil. I don't want to imitate the devil. Amen? I was watching me some gangster movies. I love gangster movies. Lord, forgive me. Thank you. But I, I like watching. Uh, and, 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 and I was watching that one with Denzel Washington in it. Uh, he was a drug dealer. Frank something. Frank something, yeah. I can't remember his last name. Yeah, I mean, I think it was Washington. True story, though. Yeah, true story. He was a bad boy. Yeah, he was bad. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there watching it, and I was sitting there rooting for that guy, mm -hmm. and the, the Holy Ghost moved on me. He said, what you rooting for him for? Uh, you know, he destroyed the people, selling all these drugs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
I can't think, I can't think right now. Maybe I ain't supposed to be thinking. <laughs> but stop, we, we imitate that stuff. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. <laughs> Talk to the hand. We imitate that stuff. Uh, and some, something that was done clicked with us. Uh, and that's the kind of stuff God tried to get out of us. Sometimes we kind of productive. Amen? Amen. Uh, brother, uh, minister? And none of those things have to do with love, because most times you're upset. Wow. You're upset with them. Yes. Wow. Love, right, love right there. Yes. Did you hear what he said? He said, none of them phrases got to do with love. No. So then none of them phrases got to do with God. Right. Wow. Mm -hmm. Lord, help us tonight. Yeah. <laughs> help us. So, so we can't imitate the devil. Right. Yeah, that's true. Amen? Amen. We got to imitate God. Amen. Huh? Mm -hmm. And for me to imitate God, I got to know God. Amen. Got to spend some time with him. Yeah. Be in a relationship. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And, 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 and truth let it be told, that's what sacrifice is about. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, when, when we offer a sacrifice to God, we're saying to God, God, I want to be in a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. uh, more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Not because I want to obey you. Because I want to be in a relationship with you. Yeah. That's what moves God. Mm -hmm. Amen? A broken spirit yeah. and a contrite heart. Yeah. He will in no wise despise. Yeah. When in the New Testament, they do disservice to that word sacrifice. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you study it out of the Hebrew, sacrifice, it deals with relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, that you want to be in a relationship with God. That's why you offer him the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And I don't want nothing to come in between our relationship. No. So I'm willing to sacrifice. Yeah. I'm willing to offer. Amen. Amen. Uh, ah, glory. Yes. And the sacrifice is you got to give your whole self. Your you. whole self. No reservation, no mm -hmm. hesitation. Mm -hmm. That's you it. Know, you got to be willing to surrender totally. Totally. Yes. All. He said, give it all. Yes. You know, we sing that song, I give myself to Jesus. Yes. You got to really give yourself to the Lord. Yes. You got to be in a relationship. Yes. Yes. It's all, I give myself away. Yeah. We ought to really give ourselves that's away. It, amen. That's it, amen. Yeah. Thank you. And, that's, and what she's saying is true. It's, it's your whole being. Mm -hmm. Everything. Mm -hmm. What shall I render unto the Lord? Mm -hmm. huh? For all the, his benefits. Mm -hmm. I will drink of the cup of the Lord. Mm -hmm. huh? And call upon the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's what he wants. He wants all of you. That's why he dwells in you. All right, move on, Pastor. 11, 11. 11, verse 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, uh -huh. but rather reprove them. Now notice, uh, so don't fellowship, don't imitate the unfruitful works of darkness, but reprove them. Show them up. Be the light. Resist them. Amen. The Bible says, follow peace uh -huh. with all men. Uh -huh. Holiness mm -hmm. without the which, what? No, no man shall what? See the Lord. If you ain't reproving it, they ain't going to see the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. If you follow it after everything, doing everything they doing, there's no difference. Yeah. Amen? Amen? You got to make a difference. Amen. Am I right? Yes. Um, I can't be like the world and say I'm like Jesus. You know what bothers me? And I don't know if it bothers you all or not, but people that confess that they're walking with the Lord, I'm talking about uh, not people here at Christian Ministries, but people that I, I, I come across to in my work or, or neighbors or whatever, you know, they talk all spiritual and holy with me. 
and uh, you know, we have good spiritual conversations and stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, pressure come up on them, which reveals everything. Huh? They start cussing up a storm, huh? lying, huh? And, and trying to get me to lie. Say, Frank, you just say this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm like, what, what happened to holiness? What happened to Jesus? Huh? That, that bothers me. I ain't get on. Because, because I take people as they are. And, and when we have an, a good holy conversation, uh, uh, the Holy Ghost comes upon me. Yeah. And I feel the presence of the Lord, and I'm happy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then when the individual uh, uh, starts cussing, mm -hmm. stuff like that, that, that vexes the spirit. Right. Exactly. And when you leave from around the presence of that, you feel dirty. Dirty. Because you've been listening you know, to all that swearing. Yep. And what do you got to do, Pastor? Pray. Pray. Mm -hmm. Until you, till some changes, until you get washed, you feel clean again. Mm -hmm. I would say evil communication. Corrupt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You can't listen to everything. You listen to a lot of rap music, I'm talking about gangster rap stuff, you find yourself in jail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you listen to uh, 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 a lot of R&B music, you find yourself having five and ten babies. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Come on in! That's true. There's some spirits in that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Some unfruitfulness in that stuff. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. 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 Ain't no truth in that. Yeah. No. Right. Hey, you got you got you got you got to be, be wise as serpents yeah. and harmless as doves. Yeah. Huh? And when you talk about being wise as a serpent, being 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 quick. Mm -hmm. Huh? Be be don't be dumb. Mm -hmm. Be quick. Mm -hmm. Pick up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Pick up stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't be naive. Mm -hmm. uh, but then when you move and you act, you act harmless as a dove. Mm -hmm. You know, you ain't trying to cut nobody off, kill them. Mm -hmm. You yeah. follow? Mm -hmm. But you want to strike quickly. Be th hey, I, this, this, this ooh, Holy Ghost is working with me. You you know something wrong? Cut it off quick. Yeah. Right. Uh, nip it. Nip, I like that, Pastor Doug. Nip it in the bud. Give no place to the devil. Yeah, Don't give room to the That's what it means to be uh, wise as a serpent. Quick. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Get it. Get it. Get it quick. Nip it in the bud. Yeah. I, I appreciate people like that. Mm -hmm. When they talk to me, they say, well, okay, this is this is good, but this ain't how this. I'm not, I'm not I don't want to be bothered with that, Frank. Uh, I'm going to let it go. Um, uh, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. I can appreciate that. Right. Why string me on? Right. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, especially if you ain't got good intentions. Right. Mm -hmm. right. That's true. Amen. Folk can do that to you, won't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all been duped? Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's the truth. That's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I've been duped by folk in the church. Yeah. That's what you can say. <laughs> Fuck in the church, I've been duped. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you see them, you gotta keep on loving them. That's what I do. The way I deal with it, I, I, I try to forget it. Just move on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. All right, where we at? What verse are we in? Lord, we got two more minutes. We're in 12. 12, read. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Now notice, notice, this is what Paul is saying. Because you are an imitator of God, uh, don't walk in darkness because that brings about shame. Mm -hmm. Amen? It's a shame for you uh, to be saying that you are a child of God mm -hmm. 
but you live in a double life. Y'all know y'all don't like people like that. Hypocrites. Pretenders. Huh? Double tongue. Double minded. Unstable in all their ways. That's a shame. Amen? All right, read. What's that? What verse we in? 13. All right, read. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. Now note, everything, if you're walking in the light, walking in the knowledge of the Lord, it's going to be made known. Mm -hmm. You can't do everything that's done in secret shall come to the light. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, I'm going to keep this secret. Don't believe them. Between me and you, don't believe them. They lie. Follow? They teach, us, they teach us in the jail because we in there with all the, the you know, uh, uh, convicts and gamers and schemers. Um, uh, they, say, they say, you know, if they tell you, I ain't going to tell nobody. Don't believe it. They're going to tell somebody. And, and they say, well, I'm a trustee. And you say, well, that don't make you trustworthy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not trustworthy. Uh, if you were, you wouldn't be in jail. <laughs> you follow me? <laughs> It's by, it's by, it's by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be honest. Can I tell for myself? I, I, when I was in the world, I loved to lie. I lied when, when, when there was no reason to lie. Uh, just be lying. That lying spirit. Amen. If it wasn't for the Holy Ghost, uh, I'd still be lying. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We all be like that. We all be like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was on the opposite side of the world. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Whatever we were in the world, we be it right we now. We be it right now and worse. Right? We, we be it until God move it out of our lives. Yeah. Yes. Because you, you just because you like chocolate ice cream in the world, you come into church, you're going to steal like chocolate ice cream. You're going to steal like chocolate ice cream until yeah. you get that out of here. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Well, uh, they, 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 they said about that story, and three guys was all together, and they was all confessing to one another. And the one said, yeah, I cheated on my wife. And the other one said, I gambled. And the other one said, I'm a gossiper. <laughs> <laughs> Amen.